Welcome to Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, where you can enjoy five planets for the price of one. He loves the sound of his own voice, but I gotta give it to Eggman. This place is great! Everyone's gonna wanna come here. No doubt, but now I'm not so sure why we're here. This place is totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals an evil plot for us to foil. Luckily for us, this place was easy to find. <laughs> True. It would be pretty hard to miss a giant space amusement park. I'm just wondering how we got all the planets to surround it. He must have some crazy technology. Wow. Whatever it is, you can't be mad at this view. This place is taking beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised it was so easy for us to sneak in here. Hello, happy people. Buckle up, as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you into an interplanetary wonder world of fun. I can't believe somebody straight up left the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. Hmm, you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for any past transgressions, and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or preeminent misdeeds. Phew. For a second there, I really thought it was. Oh, just thinking about it makes my head feel like it wants to... Hey, get back here, you crazy little aliens! Ah, your voice chip is stuck on Cowboy again. Stop talking and net those aliens! You got it, partner. Come on back here, you little varmints. Come back here. I'm gonna get you. Hey, come here. Get back here right now. Ugh, honestly, hey, why do I even bother with this idiot right sometimes? Now. Hmm. I'm not sure of what's going on, but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. Huh? Wow! Now let me see. Got to connect the test capacitator to the maximizing modulationizer. Uh, I wish I knew what you were saying, little guy or gal, whatever you are. Wow, that was crazy. What are you up to? Oh, I was reconfiguring my hand tower into a translator so I can understand this guy. Where did you go? Didn't you see? I was absorbed by those aliens and got all powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. And after a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. Huh, that's something else. I'm gonna need to look into Okay. Seriously, we need to find Eggman and figure out where these aliens fit into whatever plan he's hatching. Then we wreck that plan. Yep, that's what we do best, buddy. 23, 24, 25... Bah! You incompetent fools! Not nearly enough aliens! You want us to get more? No! I want you to sit here doing nothing like the worthless heaps of scrap you are! That'll be easy! Thank you! I've been here to rust my balls! Idiot! Get me more aliens! It's like it's never enough for this man. I don't even know what to do half the time. <laughs> Precious little aliens! I can't wait to harness you of your power, then nothing will stop me! I know I say that every time, but this time, really, nothing will stop me! Doctor, we have a problem. What? Sonic?! Who you calling nothing? I'd stay away from the Doctor this time, Sonic. We've already amassed far more aliens than you could possibly save, and our giant killer robots won't fail us this time. Hmm, Hedgehog? Warbot! Release the big boy. At least I know he won't screw it up. Hostile of bye bye, suckers! Oh! Hey, what the? Get back here! Well then, let's see what you got, big boy. Where did you go? 
ran into Eggman, destroyed a giant killer robot, all in a day's work. Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Oh yeah, how is that translator of yours coming along? I think it's done. It translates into binary code, so I'll, I'll be able to read it. Okay, Sonic, ask away. Ahem. Who are you, and what is happening to your people? Okay, it's processing. All oh, right. Apparently, he says his name is Blue Thing, and he's from a faraway castle, and where red things live happily among their people. Yeah, I, uh... I think your machine still has some bugs. Hold up. I think I can work this out. Uh, okay, he said his name is Yacker, and he's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps, huh? According to this, some tall evil man he has been going around and capturing them. He says he's going to drain them of their power. He's just saying save them, save them over and over again. Well, when I was running around trashing killer robots, I saw a map with some interesting places. I think I'll go check them out and see if I can help out our new friend here. Now see, that there wasn't so good of a fight. I reckon that there's Sonic's a tougher varmint than them aliens. Okay, so maybe Rotatron wasn't quite up to scratch. You will be dearly missed. Cubot, where is his other arm? It's gone missing. No idea. I reckon it's no big deal. It's going to be a big deal if it doesn't turn up soon. Now, if I were Eggman, where would I hide these aliens? Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Huh? Experience has also taught me that giant mechanical contraptions mean trouble. Visitors are cautioned to avoid feeding, petting, or saving any aliens. So then, we can do this the easy way, or the hard way? The hard way it is then. Okay, bring it on! Hey Tails! So, has Yakka given you any more information about where Eggman's keeping these little guys locked up? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. How could I forget? So anyway, the Wisps, the wisps are made of a really powerful energy source called hyper -goons. Like a battery? No, well, sort of. It's their life source. You only got a taste of, of it, and look what happened. So, according to Yakka, Eggman's not only draining them of their power, all of their power, and using it for evil means. Nothing surprising there, then. That's all I got so far. I need to see if I can improve the translator though, to get any more info, though. That's great intel. Keep working on it. Hey, where are you going? To try to find wherever it is Eggman's storing these little guys, of course, while you work on your translator. Wow, this park is huge! Yeah, Eggman could be anywhere. <laughs> Indeed I could. Come on, get closer. That's it, Hedgehog. Stand there and be a nice little target. Tails? Is that you humming? Sonic, look out! Ah! Tails! Tails, buddy! Ho ho ho! He's my buddy now. What have you done to him? Me? 
Oh, I did nothing at all. It was my alien-powered mind control beam that did all the work. Ha 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 ha! To get to me, you're going to have to go through your best friend. Ho 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 ho! This turned out much better than I could have hoped, and I only used a small prototype. The only way to make this better would be to have you two fight. Come on, Tails. Snap out of it, buddy. This isn't you. What the? Tails, buddy, are you alright? Huh? What happened? Where am I? Uh, wow, is he cheap alien energy? Huh? Ran out of juice. Well, I'll get more. Lots more. And then I won't just control one little fox, I'll control the entire universe. In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Glad you're okay, Tails. I didn't want to fight you. So, you ready to take on this hunk of junk? Uh, I can't. I gotta fix the translator. Dang. Okay, see ya. Hey Sonic, did you give the guide your complaint? Oh, I gave it to him pretty good. So, did you get any more info out of him? Yeah, I was able to improve the translator. Well, we already know about the mind control weapon he has. I learned that one the hard way. Do we know how Eggman is getting all these aliens? Yeah. At first I thought Yaku was talking about how Eggman was using food to lure them in. Hmm. That is a possibility, but I reckon these guys are too smart to fall for that. That's what I said. They're really clever that I made a tiny adjustment and realized he was saying generators. So no food? That's kind of a shame. I wanted a chili dog. Tell me about it. So essentially, Eggman is using five tractor beam generators to hold each of their planet in orbits while he scoops up all the aliens. Hold a whole planet? Wait, hasn't he done something like that before? Well, that one was tiny, but still, yeah. Okay, fine. Well, I've already leveled two generators. That just leaves us with us three generators to take out. Let's go, buddy. This should be a piece of cake. We should get a move on. Yakker says the aliens don't have that much time left. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. Ho ho ho! Soon the mind control weapon will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens. And Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme park. Do you reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole damn planet? Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Calm down, Doctor, it's right here. Cubot, allow me to fix this mess. Okay, now we move this here, back there, please go there. Bingo! Good as new! Finally! I don't think anything could have been more infuriating than that cowboy chat. Yar! Feeling ship shape with me new voice chip I am! I beg your pardon, Squire, but me and me major are gonna sail up and search for that lover Sonic! Arr! Useless! That's worse than the cowboy one! Yeah! Cubots, come back here! Don't look at me like that, it was labeled Cubot Voice 91. Give it a rest, Doctor, he's far more exotic now. Just go find him and fix that ship! Shortly, I will have no need for those idiots. Very soon, the world will be under my control, and when it is, it will be the crown jewel of my amusement park. The greatest in the universe! Ho ho ho! Ouch. I think I laughed too hard. I'm getting too late for this. You know, as cool as this place is, there's something very... Eggman-ish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, making it part of his theme Attention park. guests! If you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area that is still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. 
I thought Eggman was supposed to be smart, but I feel like the Wisp would help him out a lot more if he just asked. I know, it's horrible what he's doing. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gasoline. Yeah, that's pretty low, even for him. Sure, he might have smashed the moon and cracked the planet, but this one seems more evil somehow. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. You getting any of that? Yeah, they're really freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock. I'm just waiting for the translator to process. Okay, they say they're in shock because of their planet's industration and mindless destruction of their homes. Eggman really is the lowest of the low. How can somebody do that? I'll see what I can do. Now hang tight, everybody. I'm gonna put a stop to these renovations. Ah, and there's the generator. It seems like they're getting hotter and hotter to find. I know for a fact these guys are getting hotter and harder to beat. Please remember, all plants in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Eggman, I am gonna save this planet, and I am gonna free these aliens. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. You know how it'll end, how it always does, with you losing. Okay. Here we go! Man, running past all those fish really put me in the mood for sushi. I doubt Eggman had the decency to put in a decent sushi joint. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, try the newest dining experience here at Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, the Bucket O' Sushi! Now with fish! I said a good sushi joint. Another one? I wonder how Eggman gets all the funds to keep making things like this. Oh well, doesn't matter. Any minute now be a broken pile of metal. Heh, <laughs> same as ever. All bark and no bite. What is this place? Oh, this must be where he converts them and takes their energy. Don't worry, buddy. We'll find him. Now, let's go shut down that generator! You know, I don't like what you're doing to my friends in there. It's messed up, so I'm gonna mess you up. Yeah, that's right. I'm stretching. You got a problem with that? I want to be able to fully enjoy ripping you apart without some pooed muscle slowing me down. Okay, now I'm ready. Of course, if you want, you can run away. Please, feel free. There's no shame in it. Well, maybe a little shame. Alright, so this is how you want to play. Don't say I didn't warn you. Whew, that was almost difficult.
looks like the aliens are happy to go be to be and go home too. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a party. The middle? We are the party. I think we're the guests of honor. Yeah. Ho ho ho! That idiot thinks he's won just because he destroyed all my generators. Well, the mind control can has enough leftover power for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh! Are you sure about that, Doctor? Sonic has already torn through the entire park and destroyed it all. This mind control cannon absolutely has to work now. That's what I've been saying. And this whole time everybody's been treating me like some kind of idiot. That's because you are an idiot. I don't get it. You fool! It wasn't a joke. You continue to irritate me. Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit busting my batteries over here. I've been working on it all day. What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. In a few moments, it won't even matter. I will win, and the world will only have one thing on its mind. Let me guess, you? <laughs> me. How shocking. No! This can't be happening! It's backfiring! Impossible! How? Ta-da! Yo, what do you mean impossible? Your plans have been crushed by Sonic for like a ever. He stopped you like it's his job or something. In fact, I'm starting to think it is his job. What are you talking about? He hasn't stopped all of them. Name what? Um... Good job, Blockhead. You actually got something right for once. Thank you, buddy. Hey, my voice! It's back! All right! Oh. Oh, no. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Now I remember why we changed his voice chip. Uh, no matter. I may have suffered a setback, but this thing's far from over. I will crush Sonic once and for all. Oh, no worries, just leave us here to die. That's fine. Well, he gets an A for effort, that's for sure. He sure does. Hey, Tails? Yeah? I've got a bad feeling about this. Good, so it's just not me. When I feel the ground shaking under my feet and see plumes of dust rising and rubble tumbling and aliens running for their lives, yeah, I get a bad feeling. So, how about you and I make a quick retreat? Uh, yeah, good idea. We need to make it to the space elevator. Time to bail! Isn't that... Eggman! Leaving so soon? There are no lines, and I've saved the best rides for last. At least let me stamp your hand so you can come back in. Now, I know you're trying to be clever with this whole amusement park pun thing, but it's just coming off lame. Say you're going to destroy us and stop embarrassing yourself. Curse you, Sonic! You foil not only my plans, but also my monologues! If that's what you want, I will finally crush you once and for all! There is no escape! You will perish in my hands! Ah, that's so much better. Thanks. 
want to know about this robot, Sonic? It's powered by the energy from your little alien friends. I'd say it's been nice knowing you, but it hasn't. I have to admit, this guy looks strong. I don't think we can beat him. See you on the ground, buddy. Huh? Sonic, no! Just got one last thing to do. And as for you... Oh, my head. Who turned out the lights? At Dr. Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, you can feel comfortable knowing that your safety is our number one priority. Oh, shut up! This might not end well. Sonic, are you okay? I can't believe you made it through that. Like you thought I wouldn't? The only thing I was thinking about was about getting pushed into an elevator. A hedgehog's gotta do what a hedgehog's gotta do. I had a little help in that last part. Uh, he said, thank you for saving us. My pleasure, Yakker. Thank you for saving us. He says you are welcome. Hey, that thing's translating pretty good. Yep, I finally got all the kinks out. We could talk to them perfectly now. Oh great, he says, goodbye my friends, I have to go. Just when I got this thing working. Better late than never, buddy. Right on! Yeah! I knew all along we'd find some way to communicate.